I show you my stuff with DM Scotty. Hey guys, you have seen my uh, kind of hybrid uh, tiles, the uh, 2.5D tiles mixed with a 3D building that I cheaply made out of mostly cardboard. Well, I want to show you another version of this I did. I did some uh, mausoleums, almost totally out of cardboard, the same kind of style, the 2.5D tile, and then the building on top of it. And then when you, the uh, players go inside, you just lift the building right off and it's much easier to try to play around in there instead of trying to reach in with the walls and everything. So. Yeah, uh, I got some, they came out really cool. So let's go to the table, I'll talk about uh, some of the construction and then show you the result. Hey guys, I wanted to show you some mausoleums I was working on. So I did this very similar technique to what I did with the other uh, buildings I've showed you. Um, but see, I'll go around the building here and you can see that I've got some windows. I put some bars in the windows um, to keep uh, grave robbers out. And then uh, the back. You can see I've added some structural elements going up. I added the tile roof like I talked about in the other video. Uh, but I did something interesting with this. I, well, I put the spire on it from my old uh, Christmas ornament. I also put an angel on it, um, an angel decoration. And the door here is a mage knight door, but it, you'll see when I lift it off the tile, it, I cut it out of the front of the building so that the door stays on so I, basically I can lift this off and then it becomes the tile and then you know when they explore it um, and open the door um, they can go inside and explore the tile so I made two of these uh, types of tiles with the uh, identical and then I made a larger one so let me show you that one real quick so here's my larger and uh, you can see I've got the spire and an angel on the front like I did the others and then it's definitely bigger. Uh, and this is all uh, out of an old priority mailbox. Um, I also did some distressing on the tiles you can see on the roof there. Uh, I put a smaller spire on the back. Uh, but essentially it's the same construction as the others. Uh, just a larger, a larger tile. And then this lifts off just the same as the other. So uh, it's got a bigger room inside and then the door just stays there like, it, like on the other. So. I thought that was a neat little uh, construction technique. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'm gonna paint these up and I'll come back and show you what they look like. And here we go, the finished mausoleums and I think they look great. Let me put a guy on the stairs to kind of show you um, the scale there. All right. Um, yeah, so I just, I did the sponge technique on these. I used the, um, I used like a blue gray uh, on, on these mausoleums. I also uh, did a little bit of edging on the uh, detail uh, with a lighter, a lighter gray to uh, you know, highlight it. And uh, you can see here on the roofs, I I wanted I was going for like a slate look, so I used a black metallic and then a light gray to edge those. So uh, I didn't dry brush it; I actually painted all those edgings on there. So that took a while, but I think that the result looks really cool. Um, so as we talked about earlier these come off so what what you can do when you're ready to play you just lift this off okay and you've got what's inside so when the when the guys go inside then they can you know it's it's much easier to uh, play there all right now I want to show you something else here too um, you can see the front here on the stairs I did a little bit of I middle post and these lion statues all these lion statues were were just some beads I got out of a cheap bead set. Uh, this is a bead here, and then this is just a, a round stick pin. The uh, chain itself is just from a cheap chain from a uh, craft store. And uh, yeah, so I also did the uh, magnetic piece there so the door stays better. It doesn't knock over. So I think that came out really, really cool. Um, now I'll show you the I'll show you the smaller one. So it's a very similar. It's just a smaller. Um, size. Okay. So there we go. Those are some uh, uh, 2.5D three slash 3D buildings, and I think they came out really great. And here I'll give you a, a little closer look here at the building itself. So see, I did a few cracks in there. Um, you can see the detail on the roof, the angel on the front, the bars in the windows. 
So yeah, those came out really, really sweet. And these, these are mostly just cardboard. The only thing that's not cardboard are the toothpicks, the spire, which is a uh, plastic icicle, and the angel, which is just a plastic Christmas decoration, a cheap plastic Christmas decoration. Everything else on here is cardboard. So yeah, so you can make some really nice looking stuff um, for your encounters. And you know, I wouldn't do this for every encounter, uh, but um, you know, it can really jazz up encounters if you have some 3D stuff like this. So uh, there we go, and uh, some uh, cheap mausoleums you can make out of cardboard. And I'll see you next time on The Craft. Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft! <laughs>